Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Darkest Dungeon, where we had, well, this is just after the live stream that I did previously, so we have gotten some new people coming into town, and if we look at our stagecoach upgrades, we are fully at a roster of 25. I probably do not need to add more than what I have, except for maybe a second Plague Doctor. I still feel like that's going to be a good idea, as good as some of these other classes are. Let's actually sort by class real quick. So I want to make sure how many things we have. Two Arbalists is good. I kind of want a second Plague Doctor. I kind of want a second Witch Hunter. Uh, three Vestals might be too much, but we'll deal with it. Uh, we got two Occultists. One, two, and then two, and then two and one. Well, we'll make it work for now, but I am going to go ahead and grab. If uh, Paschal is a... Uh, he doesn't have everything that I want. So maybe we won't get him straight away. But if you do want your name on the roster, there are plenty of new faces available. And if we sort by a level here, we're going to just go down. I have some new people that I do, in fact, need to develop and need to run. So maybe I can get some second tiers of teams to go after some of these earlier dungeons. But as you see, I have a lot of level threes. So I think it is about time for us to do the unthinkable and start going for some veteran missions. Now, I may have warned some of you all in the uh, comments sections previously that veteran missions are a significant step up from the easy missions. And on top of that, we're playing without torches. So crits are going to be a lot more painful uh, and things like that. So we're just going to take, let's see here, I, I want to take a team of all level threes. I guess I could take Dismas. I mean, he, I've, I've been looking at some info, some strategies and everything for what could work for some of these people. Yeah, I probably do want to... I don't have that many frontline people who are level 3 that are available because Koval and Turiel are both still pretty stressed out. So it's going to be Reynold for now. Bellasar I want to save for level 2 because we still have uh, this place to go. And the, ver and the Legendary Bracer would actually be quite nice. But I want, I'm, I'm getting the itch to do a level 3 place even though we only have level 2 weapons and equipment. So that is going to make this a little tougher. So we're taking Dismas and Reynold. We're taking Soothing Vapors, and who's going to be our third position here? Probably Shinobi. Could be Shinobi, could be Hallandan. Uh, Hallandan could be good in a lot of ways. I mean, we could mark the, we could have a target to mark and everything like that. But I think if we're wanting to do some significantly good range damage, it's probably going to need to be. Shinobi. Shinobi, Shinobi. Now we do have some diseases rounding out our team. So that's not awesome. But this is a short veteran mission. I'm doing this because I still need deeds. I don't need the solar crown. In fact, it's probably one of the worst items of the medium missions that are available, or of the veteran missions that are available. But I don't really want to do a medium cove protective wards mission. I don't really want to do explore 90% of rooms. Sometimes you can RNG out of the skirmish maps really well, or sometimes they can completely screw you over. But before we head into there, let's go ahead and equip some items. If we can sort by class restriction real quick. We still want to have the haste chalice. I like it. Sometimes you just need to get that heal in between fights. And I feel like I should know what my uh, healing trinkets and stuff look like more now. At least I did. I have some trinkets that I can definitely sell. This is this is decent gold for me. Ugh. There we go. So there's our heal skills. Let's actually look at a. Let's click it this way. All right, class restrictions. I don't think we've got any good grave robber items, so I guess I'll give you the ancestral map. I could give you a damage bracer because she's primarily going to be doing a lot of damage. So will Dismas. The last time I took one of these, uh, though, not only did I die, but I died and I lost it. So, not great. But still, might be better than some of the alternatives here. Let's let's put it on there, because Dismas is going to have a uh, different item for his self. So we have lots of Hyrium and Flash Powder. 
It does decrease stun resist. Fortunately, stuns are not so much of an issue here. And damage versus beast is pretty good. In the weld, I don't remember if those ectoplasms count as beasts. Damage versus eldritch is also good in the weld. Blight resist is also good in the weld. There's lots of things that are plenty good in the weld, but I think... Ugh. I think plus two speed might be better than all of it. All right, so, or Crusader. Reynold, not my favorite. Plus 40% stun skill chance. And we can give him some prot too. I kind of want to, he does have some decent max health. We could give him four more health at the extent, at the significant expense of dodge. And I'm not really a fan of that. Uh, let's see here. Prot is good. Once again, this one's okay, if I'm going to be using him to stun a lot, and I might be. A little bit of dodge I might be able to deal with. We do have, we don't have too much in the way of prot available. You know what, this is good. This is kind of our first foray into here. We have 21,000 gold, so if things go to shit and we just lose some people, we got more people to level up. Veteran mission provision time. Now we're going to the world, we're going to take lots of food. Even though it's a short mission, I do want to be able to heal up just in case. We're going to take three shovels, a few bandages, some anti-venom's good, medicinal herbs are always good, two skeleton keys just in case we get a critical scout, three holy water. I've been told from some people in the comments that maybe I should start taking a torch just to unlock certain things. So it's technically a torch torchless run because we're in the dark here, but I'll cheat and take one so you all can... Bitch at me in the comments all you want. That's fine. Let's go ahead. Embark. Veteran mission in the wild. Here we go. Let us burn out this evil. Well, good news, everyone. If we're going to be getting in room battles, we're probably going to have a battle at the very end, so I guess we might have been better during the exploration mission. Now, these guys are level 3, so they do not have an auto stress increase. But we do actually have a decent start here because we can use one of these shovels right away for the shallow grave and get some treasure. Wow, it's looking quite a bit actually. Oh, what? Who is who is buried there? I guess is a good question. Now, I, what I want to know too is are we going to get another shambler? So two shovels right away. So we're going to get a food check pretty soon. Alright. Okay, so surprised which is pretty bad because we can't move him forward very well Ugh. well unfortunately this doesn't do a lot of damage versus unholy but i guess we'll try the blood letter and hope we can move everybody else around here i really wish i had taken point blank shot now because this is not the best place to be surprised ever good dodge by everybody rain of whips could get quite worse though Alright, I want to move her back so that I can get the Crusader forward. Suddenly I wish that he had the ability that will drive him forward as well. So Reign of Whips, bad crit. And look at all of this bleed damage. Nicely done, guys. So 2 damage, 5 rounds, 2 damage, 3 rounds. He's going to take 8 damage. She's going to take 10 damage. And this is a short mission. We'll use a bandage here. He's useless in these back rows. Blank of fire again. We get some crits. We're in trouble. Alright. Now she can use toxic trickery for herself. That used to have a chance to fail at healing. I'm pretty sure we're okay now, but I'm not so concerned about the 4 damage. I am, however, concerned about the fuselier in the back. So we'll see what we can do. Looks like we're going to have to do some single target heals. Hopefully we don't get another bleed. That's some sweet, sweet bleed resist, that's for sure. All right. Thanks, Dismas. You're always reliable. All right. And I'm not so concerned about stunning this guy. So we'll see if maybe we can take him out here. Four damage. He dies in two rounds. Reign of Whips is going to be pretty terrible, though. So that's ten damage here. I could go for the kill, but I need to heal. Alright. Alright, 
you're, you're in a little bit of trouble. If he dies from bleed damage, that'll be great, because that removes the corpse. What do we say about veteran missions? This is one reason I was hoping to have level 3 equipment from all this. We got a party heal. Good one. Hopefully we can do some good in the back as well, because she has minus dodge, plus accuracy. Good. So Shank, hopefully that doesn't put... Oh, we're at death's door already, soothing vapors. And you're bleeding. Well, that's exciting. Uh, well, I don't really want to kill him. So we'll bulwark. Alright, so you're dead from bleed. Hopefully we don't get death blood from the bleed here. I mean, ideally we get a 17 crit right now that just outright kills this guy. Okay, cannot throw a dagger the back. Can poison darts. Only, uh, Toxic Trickery is only on cell. Alright. Resist everything. Oh, you're so close. Oh, no. Okay, Soothing Vapors died. Dismas now at death door. Look, see, we I said we might have too many vessels. That problem took care of itself. Alright, now we do get the trinkets back. But unfortunately, we are going to have to bail. All right, let's get our let's get our items back. Because I absolutely cannot do this. Yay! Talk about getting your ass kicked at the very beginning. First room, first fight. First death blow. Soothing vapors, another viewer dead I guess that's the way it goes though we gotta we have to retreat great adversity has a beauty it is the fire that tempers somehow not totally empty I just didn't need that many crests and no experience but we are gonna get some uh all right, Stress versus Mankind, Hero Mania, and Beast Slayer. All pretty good. Warrior of Light doesn't matter. Let's return to town. Okay, so Vox recovered stress. Turiel recovered stress. Bellicote recovered a lot of stress. Koval left in search of a, her er, a holy vision. And Monsell recovered stress. Soothing Vapors is dead. From Bleed, which stinks, but there are your... Uh, early missions for you right this is why upgrading your gear and your skills is so very important dismiss where will you go will you you will only slap yourself silly that's right all right dismiss go go crazy and because you're level three i am going to yeah, let's see here because you're level three i will go ahead and Stress here. I need to be better about just being willing to dispose of people. Because you see right there that all that stress release took me down a lot of gold. So what we're going to have to do here, I guess, for the next mission, this, this could be... I don't know. I may have to... I may have to send some uh, kind of newbie mission out just to see if we can survive just a little bit. That'd be pretty exciting. I mean, Hans, uh, Wishwadi, all people that uh, have not, or viewers that have not gone on a mission yet. So let's see here. The Weld has slapped me back. We do have a fight against the Hag, and we do have an exploration. We do have the Ruins that still offer some things. We have here that offers, and we have a medium mission. Some people would say medium missions are easier than short missions, and that's probably true. Because you can camp... And we actually have our first long mission available as well. So I'll have to think about the layout here. I think I'll stop the video here and add a little bit of black screen at the end just to avoid spoilers for it being so short. But when I say that uh, veteran missions are serious business, I am not kidding. I, I really am not. Every Everything is buffed. Damage is buffed. You saw their bleeds are buffed. 
And while death blow resist, while death blows are not buffed necessarily, I got a bad roll, and that's all it takes. So we are gonna do a little. That's that's part of. There's there's two ways I can do this series going forward, and I'm curious about you all's thoughts on it. What I can do is I can do some of these like grindy little missions off camera, just to try and recover my base and everything like that and do some of the more significant ones on camera or i can just do everything let me know your thoughts in the comments i'm very curious but for now we uh three out of four live to fight another day let's go pay our respects rip in pizza soothing babers who bled out to an outlaw cutthroat thanks for watching this is asher oh you get an upgraded tombstone cool i guess that's what you get for a uh, Living a little longer than Clumsy Mind or Valor or Curl Custard or any of them. I've just been killing viewers like crazy lately. But, hey, that's Darkest Dungeon. You all want to be on the Death Roster. I called the Death Roster for a reason. This is Asher. See you next time.